Dyson spheres are usually a powerful endgame megastructure, giving you an abundance of energy. However, in this mod, our homeworld is a Dyson world panel. My aim in this video is to fully restore the Dyson world, inhabiting all of the panels, but it won't be so easy. We have to do this before the 25 times crisis destroys this galaxy anywhere from 2300. We are playing as the Freeman Dyson alignment, and I'll walk through this build as we play. I'll be playing on my standard settings, and here it is a Dyson sphere. We go inside. We can go inside. Now, you might be thinking, we could just inhabit all of the sections now. Well, yeah, we, we can't. It's unlocked via this decision. For each stage, I believe we unlock more of the panels. We're currently using an upkeep of 15 energy and 10 alloys. We can't go up to the max because it's 100 energy and 50 alloys, but we'll try and get there as soon as we can. The Dyson Sphere itself has an abundance of districts and a few features such as a makeshift panel support array giving us some energy and alloys and the engineered landscape giving us all of those districts. So what else does this origin do? Well, we can't live on any other planet as we have a Dyson panel preference. We have the situation and we can demolish habitable worlds to advance the situation. So we do want to expand still, like we can see here. And we do get more empire sized systems. So kind of balances you out, I guess. I'll probably get another science ship so we can explore and find where all the other planets are and just basically rush them down. I want to get as many panels as quickly as we can. We do have an heir who is a scientist, which is very nice because it's fully RNG pretty much. We've also started with Ilchess Savoy, who has expertise computing, which gives more research speed for that and more chance. Sparkle Genius for more research speed and we have Imperial Ruler. We have those cool science techs because we're a technocracy and masterful crafters. The best tech rushing options. If there's building we're going to build, you're not surprised. It's a research lab and we've made content with the fallen empires for some reason okay cool the first tradition always prosperity it's just so good as an early game what is this we explore and we find a fourth world now we're playing at 1x habitable worlds i usually play 0.75 but i thought since we're on a small galaxy we want a few more planets but i didn't think it would be this insane we're gonna be feasting as this obviously goes up very very slowly it says zero but it's actually like 0.05 we're gonna have to rely on consuming planet which means we can not vassalize people because we're gonna have to kill them to take all of their planets now the other species traits we have is it's just more tech crush intelligent and natural engineers natural engineers is good for military techs and they're ingenious for energy we'll need some energy i suppose yep first system let's build it we want to get this planet under our control First thing we're going to do is expand the council. I think it's always good to get a second council member. You get extra buffs from your civics and you can level up your leaders a bit quicker because they get XP for being on the council as well. Okay, we have this planet under our control. The decision is 1,000 energy and 25 influence and the restoration is based on the size of the planet. Okay, understandable. It's important we get our hydro base out as quickly as we can. We need the economy ASAP. These give us 10 food for one energy, which is well worth it because one food sells for 0.7. So once you sell two food monthly, profit stonks. We're going to upgrade other starports to be able to do that. The artisan troop is here. Would be nice if we had energy to become their Patreon, which you could do to me. <laughs> That's such a bad plug. You get to name fleets like Shadow Dreadnoughts exploring the waves. Leaders are just Sir Dapple Apple. And if we had any planets, you dig planets. There's also a chance for empires to spawn in in my games that can uh, either die or kill me, pretty much, or become a very loyal vassal. Greatly appreciated and helps out a bunch. Because we've built so many jobs, we are reducing our food jobs. We're not working any clicks. We have no amenities. So what I'm going to do is switch over our commercial zone to a hollow theater, which gives us entertainer jobs, which give a lot of amenities. We only need to work one or two to get positive stability, which means more resources for jobs. Okay, we have those 1,000 energy credits. Let's do this decision to hire harvest the planet. If we did colonize it, we would start. So it's worth doing this. It takes a while. Jeez. Okay. Hopefully that gets us up a bunch because this is picking incredibly slow. We only have 94 years left and we're not even done with the first stage. Prosperity is finished. We could go Executive Vigor from the Edict Fund, but because of Paragons, we get traits such as Charisma, which gives us less Edict Fund upkeep and more Edict Fund that we can level up on our Counselors. So instead, the Tech Rush must continue. Tech Ascendancy, 10% more research speed. And I'm actually an idiot. We should have gone for Sprawling Slums. We got that extra pop as soon as we can. Okay, now we have enough edict fund to grab capacity subsidies. This gives us 50% more technician output, but a bigger upkeep of energy. But that's fine because it pays for itself. We're also going to switch over to isolationist now for more monthly unity. I just wanted to expand a little bit. I'm going to stay mixed economy. You could go civilian if you want to go super tech crush, but we need some alloys. We met our first neighbor. They got three juicy planets that we'll eventually be able to take. But for now, we can harvest another planet. So these can stack. They're not tied to mega structure limit, which is nice. 
You know what? I'm going to do something that I don't usually do and build a robot assembly pod. So we'll probably go down that ascendancy, get some more pop growth going. We've got a lot of planets to fill. We must do it in the name of the Freemans. Our energy income is so good, we can harvest a third planet. We're actually going a bit too quick. We need more planets. We found three more. Oh, another one. Explore is a cheat code, I swear. So this origin does force you to go xenophobe. Doesn't say here, but I'm sure we can get up on screen. But we have had to go fanatic xenophobe. These people are going to hate us. We will need a fleet at some point. For now, we can just uh, man the border when we have enough alloys. Our second tradition, you know what? Why not discovery? We can get research upkeep reduction, which will help. And just some more research speed. And the fourth harvest planet. Oh, so we finished one of the mega structures and it bumped us up a lot, I think. I'm not sure how much we're we on. Maybe we can go back in time to look at the thing. But it's bumped it up. And if Dyson Wheel Panel is restored, which means we can inhabit a new world. Let's colonize Mystopolis, the first of its name. Okay, so we're going to finish this planet now. Oh, and when we harvest the world, we actually get minerals and alloys. Cool. Something, I guess, from it. So this world was size 12. We're going to go from 10 progress on this stage. 16.4. We went up 6. That was quite a lot, actually. We should build another colony ship because we're about to get another planet. Okay, we've got another panel restored. We're zooming. It's going to slow down, though, because uh, we're going to consume all the planets older on. These planets actually start with a lot of blockers. So there's some balancing. I'm not sure how balanced this mod is, but who cares? For fun. And we've got 85 years left until the 25 times prices can spawn. Already three stages in. Four, because our new panel is restored. It seems each planet gives it a decent boost, but we're going to start running out of those. So we're going to keep deck rushing and keep surveying all the planets. Now, if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure to like subscribe it really helps out the channel and maybe we'll actually beat this challenge and yes it relies solely on you <laughs> i know you're not subscribed greg do it so we have our first world here i guess we'll just go robot assembly plant it'll give us more pop growth and then turn it into a resource not sure what we need but i know we need harvest another planet so we can only see two more that are near us anyway and we do get research upkeep minus 20 percent. that's huge we're gonna save on a bunch of consumer goods once the month ticks over oh <laughs> yes me when i mid max or consumer good now ah, look the robots are starting to work yes in the name of dyson we'll make the robots do the work hoovers everywhere <laughs> we just research droid workers which means they can work specialist jobs that's very nice and we are going into great cybernetics that will unlock extension path the flesh is weak yes Another panel's restored because we've done another planet and we can expand the council, which means we can get research upkeep minus 2% per level. Get another scientist on here. Our economy looks like it's going very bad, but it's fine. Let's get more specialist output. Another panel. Oh, we have progressed. We're actually over halfway, but we have one planet left in our systems and we're 22 years in. So we're going to have to do a lot of murdering to take more planets. And I think they have to be empty planets. We're going to have to afford to move every single pop off them. Yeah, this job is not done. Another civic slot? I have no idea what to go for. <laughs> Functional architecture might just be the best here. Yeah. So I'm going to switch over to consumer goods on our capital and make this planet an alloy world. It means we can afford to set our main species living standards to academic privilege, which gives us 10% more research points. Go for 433 science to 461. More tech crush. With this relic world we can actually live on. <laughs> We're going to destroy I don't care. Kill the relic world. Yeah. Discovery's now finished, we get more research speed. We can go an ascension perk, which will be a flesh is we can also change up our robots. We'll just make them quick to build and jack of all trade. Yeah, this wormhole goes. <gasps> Next we'll fall an empire that's not a xenophile, but it has a planet. Go! Oh. I have no military techs. <laughs> um, should probably build a fleet. Everyone's overwhelming. Oh, and we've got neighbors. Whoa, they've snaked the heck. And an empire is preparing panelax autocracy uh oh literally all i have is tier one missiles we're fast though we have impulse freeze afterburners swarm computers no oh, it's a primitive i guess we could kill it take the planet though we do have 70 years and we're already stage six but it's slowed down a lot and we might just die because i've been very greedy yeah we should supremacy now we could have maybe gone cybernetics but we might die if we do that oh they've actually declared that's rude oh they border us in two places okay we do have some defenses 888 we can take that easily what Wait, we only have three panels left. This is going incredibly quickly. Did not expect that. We'll also claim all of their planet and set it to conquer. They've made a big mistake. And the war's only to vassal me. <laughs> you idiots. See, we're in a perfect position to move our fleet. If they come in, we'll just use our starbase and my fleet of 2k. What are they going to do? You idiot. Can't beat me. Got gas for fuel and explosive weapon damage. You die now. 
Yeah. Dead. Oh, they're coming back in? Okay. Oh, you don't want to fight. Oh, you die. Disruptors are now done. We switch our missiles to disruptors. Oh, they've come with quite a bit there. 3k? Some of them are weak. We have 5k, you idiot. What's the star base? You want to fight this? Really? Fuel reactive armor. Yeah, now it's 6k. You just die. You just die. Idiots. To Dapple Apple, Echo into Eternity. A massive speech and we get more fire rate, more build speed. Oh, it's a great time. Oh, they're coming for the space ball again. Stop it. You can actually just kill them now, I think. They're so weak. Maybe I should have put mid game skill in 25. Another Dyson Will panel. We're almost there. But again, it is taking longer and longer. And we've done it. We can conquer them. They might die. Yeah, they <laughs> they had no other planet. So they all hate us. And we can't do the planet thing. So we do have to resell all the pops off this planet, which will be fun. Considering I don't have many jobs free. And it costs us a bunch of energy and unity. But it's fine. It's worth it. And it costs 200 influence to actually destroy the colony. But it's worth it. So we now can use the decision here and get that going. And we were out of influence. So we only have the capital left. No! Ultra Savoy is dead! A traditional funeral, we get more unity and stability at least. It's is an Empire Mod 2. Why are you here again? Oh, I never did the harvesting of this planet. We should do that. We have 60 years. We're on stage 8. But it takes a while to actually convert these worlds. Another panel. One more remains. But there's two stages, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Premise is finished. Let's just go one vision. And we can get rid of this planet finally. And we can harvest it. Okay, it's now time to get primitives, finally. Go and clear up some of the hostiles so we can get more planets. Okay, we can finally go cybernetics. No, they took that planet. The Brennan Council, you will pay. I don't know if it's going to matter because we're very, very close to the last stage. There we go. The last panel can be inhabited. We've got another planet going and we'll have another one here. That might be enough. We've done it. Dyson World is fully restored. Years and years of hard work has finally paid off. The entirety of the Dyson World has been restored. Every habitable planet made livable once again. Our entire civilization celebrates today. Hand in hand, united under a common cause. We or it's stoppable. We are back. Empire-wide celebration modifier added for 20 years, which gives us 30% more unity and 10% happiness. Eh, it's not, not that good, but it's all right. And that's a goal complete. We've specialized most of these panels. We have an insane economy and um, we're joint top on the Galactic community. Have you ever wondered how good espionage is and why not many people use it? Well, in this video here, I tried to completely optimize it to see if it's worth it. Click here to find out if it is.